Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very nice chilled dandelion and bird dock. Naturally carbonated as well. Whatever that means. Either way, welcome back to the game. In the previous episode, we were finishing off the main body of the facility more onto the management side of the game, really. And then we planned off the expansion over here. In this episode, we're going to obviously continue managing it and keep seeing lots of blood splatter everywhere, apparently. But also, um, redesign a lot of this, mainly based on player feedback. So we'll get to that in but a moment. First things first, over to intelligence and then to informants and then find our good friend... Not really, Bill or Neil, and we're gonna set him to supermax because, well, he is a supermax. For, uh, he is a supermax prisoner. He's a legendary prisoner with extremely strong, extremely tough, extremely volatile traits. He's also a fearless and expert fighter and stalker into the bargain. So basically, he's someone you don't want around even the higher category of prisoners because he's just ultra violent. And when he does activate the ultra violence, um, yeah, he obviously goes through a lot of guards and I don't know if he's actually taken out prisoners but it wouldn't surprise me. Either way, the reason we're doing this is because we have a spare slot. We have or had originally Red Gang leader, which is still there, Kenway and the second in command. Second in command is no longer here for various reasons which you'll probably seen in the previous episodes. So we do have provision to put in another person there and then still have the spare room for potential red uh, sorry green and blue gang leaders and their second in command so that can go there my only concern is that if this gang leader recruits o'neill and we end up with a legendary second in command they're still not going to issue orders to people so that's not a big concern there but just having them as that status is just a little bit terrifying anyway over to our planning and we obviously have our new area here which includes going from sort of left to right two new rooms which is library and mail room followed by at the bottom of the workshop we have uh, two of these forestry areas cell blocks same design as we've got previously then on the right hand side death row so we'll go through like say the changes that we're going to make and the reasons for it and i think most of these were directly commented on multiple times so first things first forestry there's been i wouldn't say a big dispute but certainly questions of its usefulness and indeed the question of why we've got two of them and i agree we certainly don't need two but also, I would argue that we probably don't need any. We don't have the provision to cut all that wood up and manufacture stuff in the workshop, nor are we going to probably do that. And the potential problem is it's using a lot of space that we can utilise uh, elsewhere better, so aka yards. We want to put some more yards in, which are going to go down here. And also, mainly, there's going to be a huge amount of contraband problems from it. Shears and things like that. Even if they don't take it anyway, even if they get those tools and then start using them inadequately, shall we say, um elsewhere i think yeah that's probably the best i think removing them is probably the best thing to do and not have any forestry here secondly we're going to discuss the death row and the fact that it is far 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 too large i mean just this alone is too big it's a bit, it was a bit of a statement piece if nothing else and it's just it's just inappropriately large this death row but also the cells i mean it didn't really occur to me that it's like a five by six internal space we could half that and still have it uh, adequate so what i'm going to do well, I could shrink it down, move it down here, do something like that. However, if we removed this, then we'd still have the... We'd still, if we, even if we put it in, like, say, that size, we still have another area to, to fix. So instead, we're going to change it up a little bit. We are going to come here, and we're going to put them in a room that is going to be probably similar to this. So internal size is 12 by, 12 by 28. And instead, we're going to have a security room here. This isn't, by the way, the final plan. I actually don't know what the, the final plan for this is. And basically have a an area here that's going to be for death row. Even these cells are far too large for uh, the amount of people we'll have in the facility. And we could do something like that. And that could be our death row area. That's just a rough idea. Um, maybe the chair there and then you benches or whatever so one two three four that's more than adequate for death row and the size is okay i mean we could easily do that and it's obviously it's massively oversized but you know it is what it is and that is much better space wise than that we could even make it shorter if we uh, so desired however i'm probably not going to do that because this side is going to be mirrored as well the reason for that 
is this area was originally earmarked for protective custody prisoners. So prisoners with traits like snitch and ex-law enforcement. Traits that make them a target for the other inmates. And we've seen that previously where people have come in with unknown traits that happen to be snitch and suddenly they're gone and we need to put them in we, need, we still need to make provision for protective custody prisoners which at the moment we completely haven't got within the plans so i think that would be a good idea um i could shrink it down by another one which would make it only uh 12 not 11 from the wall and the reason for that is means that these two cells are equal but uh quite frankly i don't particularly mind so we've now got here which is going to be protective custody this one is death row. I could swap them round, so I could put the death row on this one and protective on that way. I could do that. Haven't yet decided. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, we've got that. So what does what what's this room going to be? Well, as people have rightly commented and done the math on, this canteen is technically too small for the amount of prisoners that we can have overall. I think it was 114 prisoners, but provision is only made for 108. Something like that. Now, that's not too much of a concern to me because we have two hours of uh, eat time and we have that twice a day in the regime. So I think we would be perfectly fine with it. However, uh, the distance is more more problematic. So we're going to make this a canteen. That then brings up the question, where's the food coming from? Well, we could very easily make this room a kitchen. It's too large, but we could easily do that. But then the food would have to be brought in from up here all the way down. That's not good. Another way to do it would be to have a door there, which then makes this the weakest point in the entire facility. So that ain't happening either. So what's the best course of action then? Well, I've decided, and I don't know if it is the best course of action, that most likely we will have this as a canteen. We'll obviously hire some more uh, cooks, increase the size of the kitchen, because at the moment... Well, you can see it's not even fully built. And if need be, we can expand the kitchen into the storage area. And that storage area will be moved down to here. That is the rough idea. That's a futurist problem. Most likely, this building will become like a, a common room or something. But, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Uh, over on the left, actually no changes. Not going to alter anything here. We're not going to alter this, this or this. They're acceptable. But we are going to alter these cells. So we've got this dead zone at the bottom that we can't do anything with. And it's a bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to shrink it right down and bring them further down. The size should still be correct of 28. Uh, sorry, 20 by 28. Yes, 20 by 28 is fine. I'm just going to double check here. and Oh, a tunnel there. Highly unlikely, but we'll do a search later on. So 20 by 28 is the size. So we've shrunk this right down cells obviously going to go across there on the bottom there and then we'll have a 6 by 22 in the middle just going to double check those measurements they are correct so that's what that's going to be along there along there close that off there's your cells and then once again internal is accepted and it means that it's not entirely the same as this, so we're not going to have the phone booths on both sides. We will still have metal detectors there, though, but we can't... Can we do that? No, we can't put one there, because it would block off the entrance. But I'll have metal detectors there. And... Actually, is that right? 20 by 6. 22 by 6. Yes, sorry, my mistake. It's that. And that, isn't it? Yeah. That one. And that one. So, that could go in there. So we can still have phone booths. We can still have metal detectors. It'll all be fine. Just it's a little bit offset. And it's still over 12 off from the edge. From any direction. So contraband can still not be thrown. And it means then, we can get rid of this. Go to pathways. Could still have a pathway along there. Pathway along there. Pathway along there, and then we've got two extra yards, which are, I think, one shorter than the others. Yep, one shorter, but it's fine. And there you go. There is the uh, <laughs> the big change there. Okay, so how do we crack on with that? Well, we are getting money, which is good. Let us crack on with some building. 
I want to do a couple of things. Firstly, we're going to go for our materials, brick wall, place a brick wall there. You notice I put a bit of planning there to remind myself that that is actually a hole that we need to fill because if we don't, well, there's going to be a lot of uh, inmates just walking out here and out when I destroy these walls. Actually, I'm not even going to destroy those walls. I'm going to put a large jail door into both sides and yeah, we'll probably have it with automatic door openers. Realistically though, I'm most likely going to just force them open while we're building, but because they're behind doors I can have this as staff only, so hopefully that uh, will still be followed. The problem is that contraband can be thrown in and well, we have, to, we have to crack on with building. We just have to do that. Uh, there's our intake. We have three people. Uh, two of them are gang members. And we can see that they are of the green persuasion. Um, we have O'Neill here who is fighting. And much to Kenway's displeasure maybe. He's trying to get his brekkie. So free fire is turned on. And um, oh look, they're now knocked unconscious. And they're going to spend... Oh look at that. Kenway actually put his hands up straight away. No deaths in the facility, though. That's always good. Over to our brick wall, and let's crack on with the brick wall, which is going to go along to there, to there, um, to this section, and then along, and then up to there, and that should be okay for now. And why that? Well, because this is what we're going to build first. We need... We don't need, but I, I think it's desirable to get more people in, more inmates, which means building another cell block. Death row, obviously, we need to unlock. We still haven't unlocked that. It's going to cost 10 grand. Not going to spend that amount of money, but I do want to unlock micromanagement. Getting 6 grand per day is good. Um, Auto Foundation's building brick. Foundation's going to go to there. Will require an entrance. Naturally, we'll place two of them because we've been very generous these days, giving them both ways out. And let's just see how far we get. I'm hopeful that this can be built in this episode and then we'll see about the logistical issues of inmates and there is a reason specifically why I've done the left one because I want to see if at meal times they are currently happy leaving here and then going to this canteen without any issues within the time frame. That's my rationale. It could be wrong reasoning but at least there's an original reason rather than randomness. Just going to put in the door servos there. That should hopefully help out. We still have 25 hours for visitation to be closed off. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll get that reactivated at some point. In terms of... Oh, that's getting built quite nicely there. In terms of the lighting, we're going to cancel all of that. Like I say, this is going to be mainly cloned. Some of it we can't clone. A lot of it we can. Specifically, this bit and the top and bottom bits... And then from that, I'll just manually put in the metal detectors and other things like that. Um, so we're still waiting for the door servos to be installed. Oh, here we go. Look, lots of inmates. Because I, I didn't change it to staff only. There we go. Right, staff only now. Um, and they're gonna leg it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna search these prisoners. Search all the prisoners. Search prisoners. Oh, look, there's another one going over there. I wonder what you're doing. Search prisoner. <laughs> Let me just check, actually. Um, informants. Look at that. Arranged. 8.9 hours ago. I wonder why he's... I wonder why Lodder's hanging around there next to this arranged 9.5 hours ago mobile phone. Toss. Similar mobile phone there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Okay. Well, yeah. We expected it. But it won't be too much of a problem. As soon as I put this bit in, we're going to be sorted. Um, it looks like the door servos are now in. Let's go to... It, it shows you just how quick they, they jumped on that. It was a little bit of a delay by myself for placing those in. And as soon as, as, soon as it was opened up, like, okay, free for all. Let's get all this stuff. Um, right, so does that mean I want to build this first? Um, no. Actually, of all things, I want to put pathing in. It's not going to cost us a huge amount of money, I don't believe. About four or five grand, I would imagine. Which actually still is a bit of money. By anyone's, or by most people's estimation. Two, three, four, four and a half, actually. But it means that the prisoners can go quick and get to where they need to go. 
So a lot of people will be coming in here, probably getting searched. Lots of floor tiles coming in. That's good. Uh, have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course. We're on 10% of that. What would be... What would be the... The advantage of running. Foundation education course is three finish, one passed. Nobody's interested. So... I don't see any point in... Interesting. I don't see any point in... Sorting that out, getting any more. I was trying to see where this, obviously he's overdosed. Like, where's he, where has that came from? Because it's not come through visitation. It could have been flung off the, from the wall. That's what I was looking for, to see if that was uh, brought in that way. But it's most likely just been brought in here. I mean, all things considered, it's actually a very, very, very secure prison in regards to contraband. Very few things have been nicked. The stuff that is shown has either been took off guards physically, or you've got things like laundry, ropes, and stuff. And all this is detected. All this coming through here. Anyway, we'll unpause that. Workers are cracking on. Gonna go over to our quick build and cloning. And we're gonna clone... Um, I mean, just any one of these would be acceptable. So I'm gonna clone that. And there. Let's work from here to that cell block. That cell, should I say, not cell block. And then that to this one here. That's going to take us to four grand, but that's enough to... I think we'll get enough to get the rest of it done. Um, I'm going to lock open these jail doors, as we've done previously. I was going to do a search, but I don't... Is it worth it? Yeah, let's do a shakedown. 479 places to... Shake down. <clears throat> Let's see if we can uh, find anything of note. Kenway's been, even though he's extremely volatile, he's been fairly sedate as of late. Was this guy? Oh, yeah, I was going to say he was searched and tased. That's what happened there. We do still have manufacturing facility, produce 30 license plates, and cell block C, raise your prison capacity to 100. So we will get that done. Not in this episode, but we will get that done. Um, I'm going to designate these yards. I might as well. No reason why we can't. Searching most places. You see the daily cash flows drop. That's because of uh, the logs and stuff we've sold. Uh, well, they're not in... They're not a uh, thing we can repeat. Over to our prison grading as well. We've had 15 paroled early and zero reoffended. Technically making this a zero reoffending rate facility. <laughs> hmm. It shows you the fudging of stats, doesn't it? We've made low-risk facilities in the past, which have had a 15 to 20% reoffending rate, or, you know, higher than zero is the point I'm trying to make. Punishment, reform, security, and health have always been have been much better than this facility, and there's certainly been less staff fatalities and deaths in custody and escapes. But that magic number, reoffending rate, is the one you can present to people. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've got a high-risk uh, gang facility with uh, zero reoffending rate. Wow. Well done, you know. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to see the other stats. <clears throat> anyway. Two new prisoners coming in. Clegg and Underwood. Underwood looks like they're from the 70s. And also I've got some contraband on them. Right. Let's go back down here. And workers are cracking on. That's fine. We'll just max speed out. Danger level's increasing, most most likely because of that, yeah. 60 prisoners, 61 prisoners have been unnecessarily searched, in their opinion. Cracking on with this here. Uh, we don't have any utilities, which is actually a bit of a uh, issue. Oh, that's been mentioned, actually, regarding utilities. We're going to have a death row and workshop, so that's a lot more power. I will be having another... Um, another power... 
uh, was it generator? No, uh, power station. It'll be in this corner, and then the capacitors will go along here and along here. So it won't be the biggest, but it should be able to power the rest of the facility. What I need to do now is run this down, and then in there. That should be fine. That'll require them two. Uh, uh, is it here? Yep. Yeah. Require that. From this one, similar thing. And then that. And that'll power everything up in and around this area. Water, similar situation. I'm gonna come down. And I guess it needs to go to there. And I probably need to run it across and down to there. I'll plumb the rest in once we're sorted. It's four grand, 223. Oh, yeah, generic units of currency. Fighting going on here, Christopher Locke. Free fire. Wow. Don't know why that kicked off. But nobody died. So anyone that can walk away from... Well, they're, they're probably not walking away, they're going to get carried away. Better than other alternatives. Because other alternatives are certainly available. But not desirable. Workers-wise, how many have I got? I sacked some, didn't I? Still got eight. Oh! Is that O'Neill kicking off? O'Neill's kicked off and taken the shotgun from the armed guard. Okay. It's that insta-kill, insta basically, is the main problem. And now they're going to break out. And then they're going to get tased. Alright, staff members once again. Two more armed guards. A couple more normal guards. Oh, we don't even have money for that. Brilliant. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. That's his new That's his new home. Alex. Eh, sorry, Bill. Alex is shouting for luxuries down here. Apparently, they're still not overly keen on the accommodation. We might need another couple of dog handlers. Hmm. So construction is continuing over here anyway. Danger level increasing. Just going to double check the needs. Needs are fine. It's just that search. It's it's going to head down shortly. I am fairly convinced. Bit of a stroke of luck as well. I do think it is luck that the laundry is in the right location. It's sort of equidistant to the other stuff. Complete our security review of the visitation. We can put it back in. All right. Let's put it back in. Go over here. Whole thing's set as that. And because of the way it's set up, we're just going to double check our deployment. Yep, so staff only around there. And then the rest should be working perfectly fine. A lot of people are commenting on this visitation, actually. They've never thought of doing it like this. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a decent design. I, I can't claim that I invented it, certainly not. I just saw it somewhere or we discovered it on our own. Initiative. Uh, what one uh, that a friend did, which was quite good, was have the visit booths along here, and then have like walls separating them. It's very d difficult to describe, but have like separate booths within booths, and it was mm, it was a very good looking design. It wasn't exactly space efficient, <laughs> but we have done it in a previous series, I'm sure. Danger level is still increasing, but I think it'll head down shortly. There we go, it's starting to level off. There we go, it's going right down now. Oh! Subsidence of the land has destroyed part of the kitchen wall. Okay. Let me get that fixed then. We don't have any funds. We can't fix the wall. That means that a lot of people are going to be running out of that door. To try and get through here. 
that's problematic. Um, I can't sell anything. This is bad. They're going to start legging it through here. I'll have to lock that door shut. If any one of them even peeks through that staff door, I'll have to lock that jail door shut. Lots of guards out here, though, all with tasers. That's the only advantage we've got here. It seems that the majority don't even know or don't care. Okay. That's not something I <laughs> really wanted to go through, but there you are. Extremely volatile. Right. Uh, that was the thing, actually. People discussing the bank loan. If we left the, uh, the bank loan on and increased it, you get it back. Um, not according to that. Yeah. The bank will refuse to lend you more when you need it. Credit rate decimated. Apparently if we got our bank loan back up to 10, it would have worked, but... Well. I've never... Can't say I've ever experienced it. I've never had any problems... With, uh, I've never had any success with a bank loan when it goes underneath zero. Over to materials and to white tiles. Uh, it's not classed as foundations. So, I mean, we'll have to put foundations in. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm gonna prioritize that. What's kicking off over here? Just a gang member. <laughs> Look at that wall! <laughs> Interesting place for it. Demolish walls. There we go. See, it's still not classed as indoors. It's still not classed as indoors. Okay, well, I've prioritised it, but the workers have obviously decided that other things are more of an issue. Let me go to rooms and to kitchen. So it's just so it is those two bits. Foundation. Let's see if I can do that. I want to get it built. So that's all kitchen. And now it's con. Whoa, no, not concrete. White tiles. And there we go. We're back to normal. But, one last thing staff only. It's still stuff only, just the a little bit there. Right, sorted. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Completely changed the bottom design. Hopefully for the better. Hopefully it'll function. If nothing else, we've got the facility to get more prisoners. And we'll see what it's like. Whether they can get to where they need to go. Or whether it ain't going to work at all. And... Oh, is that Kenway this time? Yep, they've just taken out that guy there. Oh, and then now they're taking him out. Wow. One hit to knock them out. Two hits to kill them. Good grief. Um, two armed guards are coming in, though. This is not going to go well for them if they don't put that baton down. There we go. Right. We're leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. We need to hire more guards, but we don't have the money. I mean, see where prisoners are arriving. Are these not classed as cells then? Hmm. Should be. Should be legit now. But maybe because it's staff only. It's probably what it is. Okay. We'll sort that out next episode. But we should get some more prisoners, which is more money. A for the intake. B for the uh, the daily cash flow. And then we need to replace some guards. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. 
of the series and indeed the series thus far. Apparently they didn't like the parole decision over there, that's Ian. And uh, yeah, next episode we will crack on with uh, some more building. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed <laughs> the episode. Thanks very much for watching. Comments in the comments. Take care and generic partings.